We had a very heavy day all together. And uh, I would like to make it um, very short. Especially as our previous speaker, my colleague Tanya Bayarova, she is a very precise lady, and she said already everything what I wanted to say, so I will be extremely short. Um, welcome to the evening session, and uh, welcome to our NACO book presentation. Um, Tanya explained in detail was uh, what NACO meant to us. For me, it was um, the most beautiful sight I have ever seen in my life. Until tomorrow morning, um, Dr. Professor um, Holger Neuwirth presented many other pictures of beautiful sights, so maybe I have to re revise my opinion. But in any case, for me, NACO was the most beautiful sight. Small village uh, in the north of India, very close to the Tibetan border, high up in the Himalayan mountains, close uh, to everything, uh, around 4,000 meter high. And Naku attracts in recent years many tourists, especially from India and abroad, um, because of its incredible setting. I think this is maybe the most important thing. And of course, its outstanding monuments. In the past, um, it was only known to few scholars um, who studied the important Buddhist uh, temples uh, with wall paintings dating back 11th century, the, early, the earliest ones. Professor Deborah Klimburg-Salter from the University of Vienna and Professor Ernst Bacher from the Austrian Monuments Preservation Office started this research project. It was mentioned also today in 2002 and invited the Institute of Conservation of our university to join as the conservation partner. Since 2004, we got involved in this project, which was the most difficult one so far from many perspectives. Uh, logistics, if we forgot some materials, we had to go to daily three days uh, by cheap to buy alcohol, and then it was not the right one. And uh, this only as a small detail, but it was dangerous. We have seen lots of accidents, uh, logistics, heights. Some people suffered from the 4,000 meter. So we had several people who were sick, and we had to send them back immediately because they suffered from um, this problem. And uh, the food was different, and accommodation was um, as it was. <laughs> So it was the most difficult project, and it was the most long project we delivered. The Institute reached, uh, researched, conserved, and restored four temples from 2004 until 2010 in collaboration with an Indian architects team. It was mentioned also before under the leadership of Romy Kosler, the NRLC, with uh, its former president, Professor Nair, who is with us helped a lot, not only with analysis, but also with practical, practical work. Def, uh, 10 staff members of our institute, 40 students, and additional invited expert traveled from 2004 to 10 every year in the summer to NACO. Sometimes two working campaigns were organized a year. The results are documented in the now published book. We are very happy to have it here, it's heavy and uh, hopefully very informative. We focused on pure conservation and restoration and preservation, avoided reconstruction and retouching. Uh, this was maybe a difficult approach, but um, during long discussions with the local community, we could reach a kind of consensus and uh, people appreciated on the long run the results. And the, His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, who con reconsecrated the temples in 2007, was also quite amazed by the work of the team. Research as a basic for practical conservation was carried out in the framework of two dissertations, already this has been said, and several diploma theses. Research papers, um, as well as scientific work, of various Austrian colleagues are summarized in the publication, 
which we present today. Now let me only thank many people for their contributions and patience during the preparation of the book. Um, the filmmaker Gundi Lambrecht in the back of uh, the room, um, she accompanied the team um, for many times. Thank you very much, Gundi, and the results are documented in four films. We are very happy about that. I would like to uh, thank my friend, Dr. Eva Reinhold Weiss from the Böhler Verlag, uh, for her ongoing advice and assistance during the book pro um, production process. The Austrian Science Fund, uh, FWF, for years of sponsorship. Professor, Professor Winklener, former um, Eurasia Pacific Uninet president, and uh, Dieter Rausch, who was present this morning. Um, he is the actual president for our network uh, for financial support of our missions. Professor Nayer and his colleagues from the NRLC for ongoing assistance. And all my colleagues from the Institute and former colleagues who are already now in the process of being um, active conservators all over the world. Um, and especially my assistant Katrin Schmidt, Maria Milchin, Tanja Bayerova, and Manfred Trummer, <coughs> and all the students and former students for their incredible help. Our colleague Stefan Ola must be granted a special thanks um, because he accompanied us for many times and uh, the book would not be so pleasant without his photographs. You made the highlights, Stefan, even if you are not so satisfied with the quality. <laughs> but in any case, you produced the most beautiful pictures. Finally, let me thank again Martina Haselberger. She is only not only involved in the organization of this conference, but for her incredible, patient work um, in the editing process of the book. Martina, thank you very much. You made a wonderful job. Tanya, already I would like to cite my colleague Tanya Bayarova in her speech at her end, she mentioned buy one for yourself and three or five, I can say five, for your friends. <laughs> so the book is here and please uh, take a look. Thank you very much and enjoy the evening. Food will come. Thank you. <laughs>